Hey yogis and welcome to Lifted Lotus Yoga. My name is Lacey and I am truly honored to have you with us today. For this practice, I'd like to offer you a traditional sequence called Sura Namaskar A and B or Sun Salutations A and B. It's a simple practice that will bring you strength, mobility, awareness, and connection through mind, body, and spirit. We'll also be joined by my dear friend, Ray, so please follow along with whoever you resonate most with. There's no props necessary for today's practice, so just roll out your mat, find yourself into the middle of it, and we'll meet you there whenever you're ready. Once you've found yourself into the middle of your mat, I'd like you to go ahead and find bound angle or baddha konasana, letting the soles of your feet meet in front of you and your knees fall out wide. Bring your hands to your ankles or the tops of your feet and maybe draw those heels closer in towards your groin. Then I'd like you to settle down into both of your sit bones, lean slightly back and close your eyes. Allow gravity to gently draw the knees down towards the earth. With your eyes closed, start to focus on your breath. And without changing anything about it, just notice what it feels like in the beginning of your practice. Throughout any yoga asana class that you'll ever take, your breath is the centerpiece to it all. So I'd like you to make that connection here and now. See, envision your breath, your prana, your energy at the center of everything. Maybe see it as a bright white light in the middle of you or in the middle of your universe within your mind's eye or however you want to connect to it. Just see it, feel it. And recognize it as the center of everything. That breath. Now I'd like you to take three rounds of cleansing breaths. Let's start with an exhale. So exhale everything through your nose. And then through your nose, inhale, fill up as full as you can, expanding your belly and your ribs in all directions. When you're nice and full, open the mouth and let out an H-A. Do that two more times. Inhale, filling up real big, and exhale all the way to the bottom. Last time. Nice job. Release all control of your breath, flutter open your eyes, and let your right leg point out to the right side as your left foot comes to the inside of that right leg. Coming into Janir Shirshasana or forehead to knee connection, and no, you don't have to touch your forehead to your knee, it's just the name of the pose. But what I'd like you to do is inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, and as you exhale, turn the torso to face your right leg. Take another inhale, point the toes to the sky, and as you exhale, start to fold over the right leg, keeping the spine straight, stopping where your spine begins to round. Let your chin reach forward towards the toes with every inhale, and with every exhale, gently fold a little bit more forward. Let's take two more rounds of breath. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, all on your own. Nice work. With your next inhale, slowly walk your hands back up your legs, your left, right leg. Swing your left hand around behind you, planting it next to the left hip. Plant down that palm. Next inhale, lift the hips and the heart to the sky, dropping the right hand behind you for a modified wild thing. Feel it open the front of the body, stretching out the heart space. One breath. Next exhale, slowly release yourself back to earth. And just simply switch legs. Left leg out to the left side, right foot to the inside of that left leg. Make sure you're settled through both of your sit bones. Take an inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, turn to face the left leg. Take an inhale, point the toes to the sky. And as you exhale, fold over the left leg. Remember, only go as far as feels good to you. Honoring your depth, your edges, and then breathing into that space. Take another big breath here. Next inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. 
Swing your right hand around next to the right hip. Plant the palm down into the earth. Next inhale, lift the hips and the heart as you drop the left hand behind you. Finding that modified wild thing on the other side. Last breath. Exhale, slowly release. Nice work. Find the soles of the feet together. Once again in your bound angle or Baddha Konasana. This time we're going to fold forward in it. So pull the heels really close in. Big inhale. Lengthen up. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and start to fold. Maybe you walk the hands out in front of you. Maybe you leave them on the ankles. It's completely up to you. Take another breath. Inhale. And an exhale to drop deeper in. One more. Inhale. And an exhale. Next inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Bring the hands to the outsides of the knees and guide the knees together. Separate the feet out as wide as your mat. Toes point out, heels point in. We're going to come into a malasana, but we're only going to be there for a few moments. So no worries there. Bring your hands behind your hips. Lift the sit bones off the mat and bring them up and over the heels. Finding yourself into your yogi squat malasana. Settle into the sit bones just a little bit as you plant down through the feet. Your heels can be lifted here, but really press into those feet. Hands to heart center for about three rounds of breath as you bring the elbows to the insides of the knees. Two more rounds of breath. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the length you're gaining in the spine. Last breath. Beautiful work, yogis. Release your hands to the mat and then inhale, lift the sit bones towards the sky. Point the toes towards the top of your mat and heel toe the feet to a hip width distance. Slight bend in your knees if you need it. Exhale, fold forward, dropping the chin towards the chest. Shake the crown of the head towards the earth. Maybe shake it no. And maybe give it a nod yes. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Create a 90 degree angle with your body. Draw the belly button in. This is Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Next exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana, full forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep all the way up. Engage your core as you lift the hands to the sky, finding Tadasana Mountain Pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bow your chin into your chest and close your eyes. Connecting back into that breath. Big, big inhale. And a big open mouth exhale. Release your hands down by your sides. Open up your eyes and maybe adjust your feet onto your mat. Find your balance. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Maybe shift side to side, back and forth. Now draw the belly button in. We're going to come into those Suri Namaskar A first. We're going to do three rounds of Suri Namaskar A. Listen to your body, follow your own personal rhythm. We'll go through a modified version and then an intensified version so you decide what works best for you and your body. When you're ready, big inhale, circle, sweep up. Reach high to the sky. Hinging at the hips, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, plant the hands. Step those feet back into a plank pose, creating a long, strong board with the body. Draw the belly button in, wrist below the shoulders. Lift up onto the tippy toes, shift the sli self slightly forward, and then bring yourself down, down to your knees. Exhale all the way down onto the belly, uncurl your toes, and next inhale, rise up into a baby cobra. Fingertips are just below the shoulders, little to no weight is in the hands, tops of the feet press into the mat. One more breath here. Exhale, chin to the mat. Curl the toes, inhale, rise onto the knees, and then downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a couple rounds of breath in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Feel strong here. Draw the belly button in. Feel that upside down V shape within the body. Last breath. Beautiful. Inhale, heels up nice and high. Exhale, knees down low. Look between your hands and take one big step to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep all the way to mountain pose. Palms touch above you. Exhale, pull the hands into heart. Bow your chin into your chest. Honor what just happened. Big inhale. Big open mouth exhale. <sighs> Release the hands down by the sides of the body. Maybe adjust yourself on your feet. Make sure you're still about hip width distance apart. We're going to do that two more times, picking up the sp 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 the speed. <laughs> inhale, circle sweep up, reach tall. Hinge at the hips, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step it back into your plank pose once again. Now you can choose to drop those knees to the mat if you want to like you did last time, or this time exhale down halfway into a Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Inhale, push yourself up into an upward facing dog. Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Thighs are lifted here as you exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Maybe you roll over your toes. Two more breaths here in your down dog. Adjust yourself to where you feel strong and stable. Last breath. Inhale, heels up nice and high. Exhale, knees down low. Take a look at your hands and take a step to the top of your mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep all the way to mountain pose. Palms touch, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, really big. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Release the hands. And maybe this time you shake it out a little bit. Shake the legs. Shake the body, wiggle the arms, maybe the head from side to side. And then adjust yourself back into your mountain pose, finding both feet planted firmly below you, feeling yourself anatomically correct. So all 10 toes facing the front of the mat, hands down by your sides, palm facing forward. Inhale, circle, sweep up, reach tall. Last time for Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step it back, plank pose. Exhale down halfway. Inhale to your upward facing dog or your baby cobra, you decide. Exhale downward facing dog, we all meet there. Inhale, heels up nice and high. Exhale, knees down low. Take a look between your hands and step to the top. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep all the way to mountain, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bow your chin into your chest. Maybe this time close your eyes and recognize how you feel. Recognize the energy flow that's moving through your body. Maybe the sweat you've built up on your skin. Notice your heartbeat, the rhythm of your breath, your pulse. Noticing all this strength, all this awareness, all this connection you've created. Let's seal it in with a breath. Big, big inhale. And let an exhale bring a smile across your face. Here we come into Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, circle, sweep up, reach tall. Exhale, hands float into heart center. Heel toe your feet to, together. Let the big the toes touch and a little space between your heels. With those hands at heart center, palm to palm compression, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, set yourself down into a chair, Ukutasana. Draw the belly button in. Maybe gaze down at your toes. Make sure you can see them. If you can't, gently shift the shins back just a little bit. Now you can choose to keep the hands at heart center, nice short levers here, or inhale, reach the hands to the sky, extending the levers high, creating a little more strength in the upper body. Take another couple rounds of breath. Feel the heat. Can you feel it? I'm sure you can. One more breath. Big, big inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step it back into your plank pose. Exhale, down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding that Adho Mukha Svanasana first, and then press through your left foot, press through your hands. Inhale, pick the right foot up and point the toes to the mat. Exhale, hug your knee in towards your chest, and then step the right foot through in between the hands. Spin the back foot down towards at a 45 degree angle. When you're ready, inhale, rise your hands to heart center. Coming into Warrior One or Virabhadrasana One, take a moment to get yourself set up in the posture. Adjust your feet. Maybe even bring your hands to your hips. Make sure the hips are square towards the front of the room. Maybe push the right hip back, left hip forward, and then bring your hands back to heart center. Again, you can choose to stay here or inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Take another big breath. Feel strong and grounded in your warrior one. With your next exhale, bring the hands back to the mat. Step your right foot back, three-legged down dog. Maybe give that right leg a little shake. And then exhale, release it downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. 
Now let's take care of that other side. So press through the hands, press through the right foot this time. Inhale up with the left foot. Point the toes to the mat. Keep that right heel down to the earth. Exhale, hug that left knee in towards the chest and then step the left foot through. Spin that right foot down. And when you're ready, inhale, rise, hands to heart center, Vira Bhadrasana one. Take that same amount of time to get yourself set up on this side just like you did the other. So if you brought your hands to your hips, maybe do it this side, and double check yourself. This time pressing the left hip back, right hip slightly forward. When you feel those hips nice and square, grounded through the feet, hands back to heart center. Choose to keep those hands at heart or inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Take that big breath here, feeling strong, rooted, balanced. And next exhale, hands float down to the mat. Step the left foot back, three-legged down dog. Give it a little shake, a wiggle. And exhale, downward facing dog. Taking our flow for that sun salutation B. Inhale, roll yourself forward, plank pose. Exhale down halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to your upward facing dog or your baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We meet there. Let's take a big, big inhale. And let your exhale guide you down into a child's pose, balasana. Come down onto the knees, sit bones press back to the heels, forehead touches down to the mat. From this child's pose, allow all of your intensity, allow all of your strength to just relax. Let yourself melt into this posture. Release the need to control anything or to engage anything. And just let yourself be. Perhaps closing the eyes and just scanning over the body, noticing anything that you might have gained or what you've released so far during this practice. Start to notice the heart rate slowing the breath slowing. Take about five more rounds of breath, just like this. Maybe one more round. And then with your next inhale, slowly just walk your hands up and roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Let your chin stay tucked and let it round up very last. Once you have rounded up, flutter, open your eyes and either swing the legs over to one side or roll over the tops of your ankles, whatever works best for you. Scoot yourself down into the middle of your mat. And then just to end our practice with a little bit of an ab workout, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's completely up to you. Have the soles of the feet down onto the mat, knees pointed up to the sky. Bring your arms and reach them out in front of you. Engage your core, pulling the belly button in. And as you exhale, start to roll yourself down as slow as you like. Maybe you take it really slow, challenging yourself. Or maybe you go a little faster and just find yourself back onto your back. Whatever works for you. Once you've found yourself down onto your back, slide the soles of the feet closer towards the glutes. Bring your hands next to your hips. And then inhale, legs up the wall, Vapriti Karani. Point your legs straight towards the sky. Maybe here you wiggle out the ankles a little bit. Maybe you point the toes, flex the toes, wiggle the toes. Or maybe you just let your legs be nice and still. I'd like you to slightly tuck the chin in towards the chest, elongating the spine onto the earth. Let's take about another 10 to 12 rounds of breath here. Maybe closing the eyes, noticing what you feel like here. 
The Preeti Karani is a beautiful place to turn the heart rate down, to slow it down, to give the, uh, the heart a huge break. So maybe you feel it here, maybe you don't, but just know that you're giving that beautiful heart of yours a nice little rest here. Letting all the blood rush down into the legs and into the torso. Make about five more rounds of breath. Last two rounds of breath here. From here, let's come into happy baby. So I'd like you to separate the feet out. Bra grab the feet from the outer edges or inside arc with your five finger grip with your hands. Press the feet into the hands and the hands into the feet. Now elongate the spine onto the mat again. So tuck the chin in towards the chest, press the tailbone down towards the earth and flatten out the small of your back. Now press those hands into feet, feet into hands. This is a very active pose, it's a hip opener. You decide how active it's gonna be by the pressure through the feet and the hands. So there should be a dynamic tension between the two. Take about another five rounds of breath and feel the pressure within the hips. Another great place to close the eyes, about four more rounds of breath. Three. Two. Final round of breath. Take one more big inhale. And with your exhale, release the feet back to the mat. Let the feet be about hip width distance apart. Bring your hands up overhead, maybe grabbing opposite, if ink, or opposite uh, elbows or opposite forearms, you decide. And then I'd like you to invite your left ankle onto your right knee. So you're creating a figure four with your legs. Slide that right heel close up to the glute. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, drop the legs over to the right. Creating a nice supine twist with a hip opener at the same time. You can choose to keep the chin centered, or if you want to, turn the chin to the left opposite direction of the legs. Close the eyes, and let's take another five rounds of breath. Now listen carefully. I'd like you to invite your left foot onto the inside of your right knee. And then I'd like you to slide that left foot down the inside of the right leg until it meets the right foot and your feet meet together and your knees fall out wide into a Supta Baddha Konasana reclined bound angle pose. Arms are still up overhead, feet meet, knees out wide. Let's take about five rounds of breath in between sides. Go ahead and bring your hands down and around to the outsides of the thighs and gently guide the knees back together. Heel toe the feet to about a hip width distance. Bring your arms back up overhead, grabbing opposite elbows or wrists. And then this time invite the left ankle onto the right knee, so opposite leg. Take a big inhale, slide that left heel close to the left glute, and as you exhale, drop the legs over to the left. If you'd like to, turn your chin to the right, creating that twist in the upper back. Close the eyes and let's take those five rounds of breath.
Once again, listening carefully, go ahead and invite that right foot onto the inside of the left knee. Slide the right foot down the inside of the left leg until the feet meet and the knees can fall out wide into your bound angle pose. Supta Baddha Konasana. This time you can either leave your hands up overhead or bring your right hand onto your belly, left hand onto your heart and let the elbows relax towards the earth. Noticing how you feel, the energy that's moving through your body, how your breath moves. Maybe noticing spaces you created during this quick practice. Knowing that you can come back to this practice whenever you want to find that connection within your mind, body, and spirit create that strength or mobility that your body's craving, or just to find a simple break from the rest of your life and finding time on your mat for just you. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and straighten the legs out long onto the earth. Bring your arms down by your sides. Coming into our final pose, our Shavasana. Turn your palms towards the sky, relax down through the back of the body, soften the outer shell of your face, releasing the space between the eyebrows, the tongue from the roof of your mouth, and the jawline all the way through the chin. Feel the softness lay over the entirety of your body, and let everything that we just did soak into the entirety of your being. Let it soak into the physical self and into the subtle self. I'd like to offer you the chance to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. It is a beautiful place to be. And whenever you feel ready, go ahead and roll onto your right side using your right arm as a pillow, coming into a fetal position, keeping the eyes closed, the face nice and soft. Taking just a couple rounds of breath here, Letting the heart rest on the other internal organs. And as you feel ready, pressing into that left hand and slowly rolling yourself up, coming into that seated pose that we started out in our practice. If those eyes found themselves to be open, go ahead and close them once again. We'll be ending our time together with one single om. You are free to join me, or you can just sit and listen. It's up to you. And as you're ready, invite your hands into heart center, bowing your chin towards your heart. We'll use one inhale to prepare, and we'll om on the exhale. Exhale everything out. Big inhale to prepare. Thank you so much for joining us in this traditional sequence today. From our hearts to yours, namaste.